Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix low FPS and stuttering issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now, once you launch the game, go to config and then go to graphics over here. And now over here, if this is set to full screen, you can try borderless or you can even switch to window mode. So I will keep it in window mode. And now scroll down. And if the resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p or you can even lower down more so i would just keep this 1536 so yes now once done now if the frame rate is like you can even set the frame rate so in my case i have set it to 60 uh, you can try 120 maybe 144 but i will keep at 60 and then if the v-sync is off over here you can turn on the v-sync and then check now if the v-sync is already on and you are facing the problem in that case you can turn it off and then check so i will keep it on for now now here you can see graphic texture now if the graphic texture is set to like best uh, in that case you can set it to high you can even go for medium so try to lower down graphic settings so i will just set everything to medium Again, everything to medium. So try to lower down graphic settings and then you can check the performance. Now, once done, you can apply the settings, click on yes, and then you can check the performance. Now, the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make our active in the game, select manage. Now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now make a double click over here. Try launching the game from game installation folder. If that does not work, open this GB24, uh, GB4 folder, binaries, Win64 make a double click on this exe file and then check still not working make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to the second tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok if that does not work again go to properties and then this time put a check over here put a check select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working this time you can select windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working Put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Still not working, go back, do the same thing with the first exe file. Make a right click, select properties and then put a check on run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, try Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK. Again, try Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Again, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game and then check. Now it's still not working in that case. So when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Do the same thing with the second exe file. Make a right click on the game, select properties, uncheck these boxes and then follow the hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to now, if you're using any third-party uh, third party antivirus program like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings. Go to privacy and security in Windows, in Windows 11. In Windows 10, you will have an option update in security. And then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. And then click on add an allowed app. Browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game installed in C drive, open C drive, program file 686. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Now over here open the game folder. Now select the game exe file, click on open. Again, click on add and allowed app, browse all apps. And this time open this GB4 folder. 
binary is win64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall now click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the exe file click on open now click on add in my case this is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then open this gb4 binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now click on add now once the game is added over here now once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check now it's still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver this is important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website now on this website make sure that you select your series select your graphic card over here now once you select your graphic card over here make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on find now once you click on find you will see this page the latest one the latest driver will be on top so right now it's 560.94 now click on view over here and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run the exe file once you run run the exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here now select next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to now this is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on browse over here and go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance and then click on save again click on browse and then open this gb4 binaries win64 select this exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check now the next step is to verify the game files now this is important do not ignore this make a right click on the game select properties and then go to installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to install visual c plus plus file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now on this website you will see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download this x64 x86 and x64 download both the files so click on it now once the download is complete run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my case it is already installed it's telling me to restart my computer so i have already installed it ignore this error message now download this x64 file and once the download is complete again run this exe file now again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my in my case both are already installed so click on restart once installed click on restart restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is important so open windows settings now go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so go to steam and then make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can type in dash dx12 this time and then you can launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to 
unplug all the external devices from the computer. So if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, or any kind of USB adapter, or any kind of USB dongle connected to the computer, disconnect all the external devices which you are not using, and then launch the game. Also, disconnect extra controller connected. Sometimes we have extra USB adapter or dongle connected for the controller. Disconnect extra controller. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. Disable overlay. Now for this, go to Steam. Make a right click on the game. Select properties. In the launch, in the general tab here, you can see enable the Steam overlay while in game. If this is on, you can turn this off and then launch the game. Also, turn off overlay in Discord. Turn off overlay in GeForce Experience. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI Afterburner running, close it. If you have Riva Tutor running, close it. So close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Also, if you have any kind of third party application or services running, close it, including all your browsers. And if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now, still not working. The next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1, 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can go to Steam Maker, right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.